YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. Today I'm going to share with you how I got these frozen waffle fries to taste as close as possible to Chick-fil-A french fries and they're pretty darn good and I had to use a couple of steps but I'm going to show you the whole process here and I also have my own homemade Chick-fil-A sauce that I'm sharing with you, which is really delicious. And um, I think you're gonna love it. So <laughs> don't go anywhere and make sure that you subscribe to the channel before you leave and like the video and do all the stuff that you know you gotta do on YouTube. Okay, let's jump into the video. The uh, french fries we're going to try out for this uh, french fry in the air fryer video is from Alexia and these are waffle cut fries. And I thought since we have our homemade Chick-fil-A sauce we should try to match up uh, with waffle fries. I can't believe I haven't done this before but anyway, um, generally when I uh, cook something uh, from frozen that has instructions on the bag. I will um, typically read their instructions first and then uh, gauge how to make it work in the air fryer because the air fryer cooks hotter and because it's got uh, convection going on, it will cook uh, faster. Uh, so the first time I made these, I cooked at 400 for 10 minutes and they were really a little overdone. So I've had to really uh, fiddle around with getting this particular French fry uh, to work uh, to a way that more closely approximates Chick-fil-A because why else would you do it? I mean, of course that's what we want. First thing we're gonna do is take out our air fryer basket and um, so you can see like it's a basket in a basket. So that's your outer basket. This is your fry basket right here. And it just slips in and then that little piece uh, covers up the little thumb release. So uh, when you make these, you really want to uh, spread them out. You don't want to have um, like the pictures and all of the advertising will show like this um, insane basket of fries where they're just like you know over the top that doesn't work uh, this is closer to what you're gonna want to do see how I have them evenly distributed across the bottom of the fry basket that's what you want because you want it to get circulation and you want uh, even heating because then you'll get even cooking and you know when you're cooking it's all about even temperatures and heat uh, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add some oil and honestly with these fries <clears throat> I did wind up adding a bit more than I normally would. I just felt like they really needed it. They were kind of dry and I wanted more, I don't know, I just wanted it to be closer to that actual fried taste. I don't know, I'm probably not describing that very well. Okay, so there's more oil in there than I would normally uh, use on these. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. It really makes a difference if you add the salt. And there's our french fries, they're all nice and um, I've sprayed them with oil. I use peanut oil because I think it's a good flavor. It's also a good uh, oil to use in the air fryer because it has what they call a high smoke point. And what that means is it can get really super hot before it starts uh, smoking. And you know, you don't wanna have a bunch of smoke and oil coming out of your air fryer. It's not gonna smell good. It's not gonna taste good. So um, the oil that you choose to use does make a difference in this. Um, in the air fry environment. Okay, so peanut oil and I put on a little extra salt. Uh, let's put it in. Um, I'm going to go for about 380 
and then I'm going to put it down to five minutes. And what I'm going to do is let it cook that five minutes. I'm going to pull them out. I'm probably going to respritz them, shake the basket, and put them back in um, maybe another three or four minutes and see what we get. Uh, these were a little tricky to get right, so. So that's all of your Chick-fil-A sauce ingredients in the bowl, and you're just gonna whisk the daylights out of it. Whisk it until it's smooth. It looks absolutely horrendous when you first put everything in the bowl but if you just keep whisking it does come together and it looks really pretty and it looks I mean nobody knows exactly what's in that chick-fil-a sauce but this is as close as you're gonna get and it is good when it's done but yeah do you have to get past that first <laughs> That first little bit where everything's dumped in the bowl and just trust the process and definitely uh, use a whisk it will combine everything a whole lot better okay let's check our fries oh they look really good okay so now I'm gonna shake that just kind of moves them around um, you know what I'm going to resist uh, hitting them with any more oil. I don't think they need any more. So I'm going to return them to the basket. And um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go 390 just to crisp them up to finish them. Whoops. And let's finish them off at about, um, let's check them at three minutes and see how they look. The air fryer is very clear with you when it's done cooking. Uh, you're not going to miss the beep. Uh, let's pull them out and see how they look. And you know what? I think they look really, really good. Uh, let's get them on the plate and try them out. let's see how they are and I'm going to tell you let me forewarn you if you don't like chewing or crunching you might want to stop watching because I'm about to eat this french fry and I've had somebody comment well a couple of comments actually that people don't like the chewing noises and I'm really sorry but everybody wants to hear the crunch so here we go mmm guys that is delicious. Oh my goodness. I will put the full recipe for you in the down bar. And how I put these together, you're going to want to experiment because everybody's oven, fry or whatever, they're all different. So you're, you will want to experiment with this. Uh, but I would say uh, toning down the heat just a little bit, cooking them uh, through two cooking cycles and using a bit extra oil for the fry is really what worked. So yeah, these are great. That's all I've got for you. Thanks so much for hanging out and I hope that you will give them a try because I think they're pretty darn good. And, um, you know, let me know what air fryer you're using and how you find these recipes to uh, adapt over to your cooker. I'd like to hear. Okay, that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next video.